So who's up people, welcome to today's edition of Programming Wizards TV. In this class, we're going to build a simple app to show us how to work with a grid view with custom card views you can see right here. This app is showing a list of quotes right here, the author of the quote, okay, the quote itself, and of course the the image of the author, okay. Now if you click a single item, then we show the quote right here. So these are grid view that we're working with. We want to see how to bind, how to render, of course, uh, custom card views in a grid view. So let's get started. This is Kotlin programming language we're working with. So first and foremost, as usual, we're going to create our application. So we type the application name. Then you make sure that you check the include support checkbox. Okay, include Kotlin support. Why? Well, because we're working with Kotlin programming language. So have it right there. My minimum API will be API level 14. Then of course, I have a couple of templates. I'm going to choose the empty activity as my template. I'm going to leave the generate layout and backwards compatibility checked. Now click finish, we proceed. All right, so our project is ready. Now first we are interested in this build the gradle. This is normally where we add our dependencies. Probably Android Studio has already added for you the dependencies. Now just make sure that you add right there the card view because our grid view is going to comprise of cards, card views, okay? So all these are support libraries, so we don't need any internet connectivity for them. So card view, the design support library as well as the app compat. Having done that one, we're going to jump over to our drawable. Now in our drawable, we're going to need some images. So I'm going to have some images right here okay so these are the images that we're going to render so the images of those zen masters that we're going to show okay of course you can resize them for me i've just added some uh, just obtain some images from the web and now these are the images that i'm going to use okay so add the images that we'll be rendering in our list view then come over to our layouts so in the layouts First and foremost, let's come to activity main.xml, which has been generated for you by Android Studio Change. You are root layout to linear layout and make sure that you assign it orientation, give it the vertical so that the text view right here, which is our header label that's telling us the, the Zen quotes app is going to be rendered on top of the grid view, which is our adapter view. So we have that as our activity main. Then go ahead, create a new layout, just right click right here and add a new uh, resource, okay, XML, choose the layout XML file. Then in the row, you can name it whatever you like, I've named mine the raw model. So inside right here, as you can see at the root, we have the card view, okay. So card view, I've given it this width, this height, okay, you can see the card elevation, the corner read card, corner radius. Now, Inside it, we have a relative layout. We have an image view and then the text view. So we're going to show the author of the quote and then the quote right here, okay? So that is the thing. Then we're also going to show the image right here. So that's it. These are layouts. Let's now move over to our Kotlin code. All right, so welcome back. We move over to mainactivity.kt. We'll try to move a little bit faster. So first we specify the package name then we come and specify the class. Then of course, we're going to add our imports. Now we'll make this class derive from the app compat activity. Then of course, first and foremost, we'll create a data object. A data object is what we normally call, for example, in Java, what we normally call the Pojo class, okay? Or a bin class is basically going to represent for us the data. In this case, our data object is a quote. So this is how we create a class in Java right here, not Java, sorry, in Kotlin, we're using the Kotlin programming language. So this is how we create the quote. Now, of course, we're going to pass some values right here by the, via the constructor, the quote, okay, the quote that will be shown, the author of the quote and the image, they'll be passed to us via the constructor. Now we come and have right here, we're going to have our, of course, the getter methods get quote will return the quote get author will return the author get image will return the image then we'll come and create our another class that we're calling the custom adapter so custom adapter 
is a class that will adapt this our um remember we actually have this the raw model right here okay the raw model is going to be inflated into a view object to make give us a custom grid view okay now remember we have images and multiple text that want to show in our grid view so we need our adapter which will be responsible for adapting of course those custom data to our custom view those are data to our custom view so this custom adapter will take in first it will take in a context object via the parameter and it will also take in a quotes an array list of quotes as also via the of course via the constructor okay as a parameter via the constructor then we'll make the custom adapter class derived from the base adapter and this will force us right here to either make this custom adapter abstract or to implement the methods that it requires us so we'll do the latter which is to implement those methods those methods are just four methods there's the get count method which will return for us the total number of quotes that need to be rendered in the grid view then the get item right here which will return for us a single quote the get item id which will return for us a quote id then the get view which should inflate for us the raw model dot xml into a custom view and return that particular view so we come inside the get view first we're going to take the view which is nullable and hold it in a variable that you're calling view now we come and say if this view equal to null then this is what we're going to do we're going to inflate the raw model dot xml we're going to inflate it into a view object so layout inflator dot from we pass in the context then we invoke the inflate method we pass in the r dot layout dot raw model then we pass in the view group and then attach to root we say false that will inflate for us that raw model into a view object now having inflated it then we'll get the current quote and then we'll reference the text views from the inflated view first an image view we reference it then we also reference our name txt which will show the quote and then also the okay i've called it prop txt but this is actually the author it will show for us the author you can give them better names now of course having done that one we're going to bind data to our text view so we come and say quote txt name txt dot text quote dot get quote prop txt dot text quote dot get author we get the quote and we get the author and we bind them to those text fields now we'll also get the image and via the set image resource we'll bind the image to our image view then you're going to listen to the item click events for our custom grid view so view dot set on click listener now that custom view that will be rendered in each grid of our grid view when clicked we're going to show a toast message with the current quote okay so that's our custom adapter class next we'll come and then have our main activity so first we have some an adapter okay then we'll also these are instance fields for our main activity then also a grid view and then our data source so this data source right here is an array list so we come get and then we supply the data source okay first we start by creating an array list of quotes and then we'll be returning that quotes but before we return it we'll have to populate it with some data so we're going to instantiate a quote object so var quote equal to quote and then we pass in the quote over there as the first parameter the second parameter like in this case Rumi is the author of the quote and then the drawable the image for Rumi of course we pass the image so it is the quote it is we pass in the quote we pass the author and then we pass the image of the author then we add that quote to our quotes collection now we're going to do this one for as many quotes as we want okay so you can see i've added a lot of quotes right here so of course yeah we just copy paste the code and do the same thing and then once you've instantiated the quote you make sure that you invoke the add method to add the quotes then we return the quotes then we'll listen to when our activity is created right here then this is what we're going to do first of course the set content view activity main will be passed then 
we'll come right here and then reference the grid view then we'll instantiate our adapter okay this then data then of course we're going to pass in gv dot adapter equal to adapter okay we set our adapter to as the adapter property of our grid view so guys that's all we need to do so we just need now to come click run to run the project and see what we have so we run the program guys and this is what we're getting you can see we have our beautiful app right here and everything is working perfectly okay so this is it right here now we'll attach the source code in our website camposha.info so you guys you'll go find the source code right there otherwise for now like the video shot and make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss our other tutorials take care i'll catch you in the next class